So you're confirming that accounts have been frozen, both personal and corporate, but you're not releasing the information. And the actual follow-up is, um, I'm just wondering whether the bank accounts will be targeted of individuals who donated to the Give, Send, Go and the GoFundMe campaigns. Are they considered designated people under the Emergencies Act, meaning that their credit cards could be cut and financial services are targeting them as well? Okay, so the names of both individuals and entities as well as crypto wallets have been shared by the RCMP with financial institutions and accounts have been frozen and more accounts will be frozen. Uh, crowdfunding platforms and payment service providers have started the registration process with FinTrack. Uh, in terms of the specifics on whose accounts are being frozen, uh, you now have the regulations. The financial service providers have those regulations as well. And they, working with law enforcement, will be making the operational decisions.